Teddy Mellencamp insists that Lisa Vanderpump set up Puppygate, reveals she's getting death threats from fans. Teddy Mellencamp has gone from circling the drama during season 8 to finding herself smack dab in the middle of it all for season 9. And despite being new to the drama, Teddy isn't backing down from telling her truth even if that means making her co-stars look bad. In fact, Teddy is standing by her claims that Lisa Vanderpump set up the puppy gate drama. In a new interview with 2Fab, Teddy insists that Lisa Vanderpump plotted and planned out the entire puppy gate drama to make her co-star Dorit Kimsley look bad. Since the drama went down, Teddy says she's owned it, apologized, and made amends for her role in the drama but she says the same can't be said for LVP. Turns out Teddy is shocked that her former good friend LVP hasn't taken accountability for her actions. I was shocked that Lisa Vanderpump didn't take ownership so that we could just move right along, Teddy explained. All that needed to be said was, yes, I was upset. Things got out of hand. Let's move on. And then we would have been done. When asked if she truly believed she would ever hear LVP utter those words Teddy admits, no. But I can coexist, and I can be cordial. You're not gonna be best friends with every person in your life and that is okay. I'm not really looking to build a stronger relationship with her, but if I'm in a situation where we're in a group setting, I can handle it. Dot on Tuesday's episode of RHOBH, we saw Teddy confront LVP with a text message from her Vanderpump Dogs employee John Blizzard. The text basically confirmed that Lisa told John to tell Teddy all about the Dorit Dog drama so that story would get out there. And more importantly, LVP's hands would be clean. Yet, Teddy received a lot of flack from fans on Twitter for cropping the text message, and fans wondered what she was hiding. Then Ken Todd threw fans for a loop when he had Blizzard print out his entire conversation with Teddy, which he happily provided to his wife. According to Ken, Teddy told John, have the dog there and I can say it looks like Dorit's dog. Either way, it will come out. But it turns out the RHOBH couple only showed in red text messages that made them look innocent. When the episode wrapped, Teddy clarified why she cropped her text from John Blizzard, explaining that it was simply easier to see. Furthermore, Teddy broke down her version of events in her Bravo blog and provided fans with additional text messages that weren't shown by Ken and LVP. I believe Ken didn't show all of the messages, which is why I tweeted out some additional messages. I have a feeling you'll see some additional ones if you keep watching the show, Teddy explained. Teddy also owned up to her role in the drama and pointed out that she knows she's not 100% innocent either. However, unlike LVP she apologized for her actions and has a clear conscience these days. I have a completely clear conscience she said. I know that a lot of hands weren't clean in all this, but I know exactly why it was set up. I have every single detail. I have it in writing. I believe that the show is going to show that. I'm not playing dirty, I'm just being honest. Teddy also makes it crystal clear that she and John were never as good of friends as Vanderpump made them out to be. 
We were never friends. We were acquaintances. We would laugh and talk about TV shows when we would see one another, but I never hung out with him outside of a Vanderpump event, Teddy explained. So me being contacted originally by him to be given that story was because Lisa wanted to text Dorit, Teddy knows. Lisa wanted the story out there. I think that she enjoys feeling like she's on top and that we are all these petty people below her. I think the big thing is that she cares more about what the audience thinks than her friends. When you play to what you want the audience to think, you don't care who you railroad. And I almost fell for it. I was almost as bad as she was. I couldn't have lived with myself not telling the truth, so if I have to get some hate mail and some death threats because I end up telling the truth, it is what it is, she said. But that's how I have a clear conscience. I'm not gonna hide because Lisa Vanderpump has an army out to get me. Teddy reveals that since telling her truth and turning on Lisa Vanderpump she's received numerous death threats from fans. She's received messages like I wish you would die and you're a vile, disgusting human being just to name a few. I want fans to be able to pick favorites and have opinions. I embrace it. I think that's what you sign up for, she said. But what you don't sign up for is people going to that level. Last year, when I saw people going to that level with Dora even when her and I weren't in a good place I tweeted out, hey, guys. Take it easy. Nobody needs the heat and abuse you guys are giving this woman right now because we're all human beings. And you know who hasn't done that this season? Lisa Vanderpump, and it's probably because she's enjoying it. Dot another part of the puzzle Teddy wants to clarify is the role of the Johns. There are two Johns involved in this story which makes it a little confusing at times. John Blizzard works for Vanderpump Dogs and handles all their charity events while John Sessa is the executive director of Vanderpump Dogs and Lisa's partner. John Sessa is the one who paraded out, in front of Kyle and Teddy Dorit and PK's former adopted puppy Lucy. Dorit claims that Lucy bit her children and PK and that instead of returning her to Vanderpump Dogs she found what she believed to be a wonderful home for the puppy. According to Dorit she immediately told LVP that Lucy had gone to another home. But the dog somehow wound up at a shelter days later. Sessa says it was a kill shelter in Orange County, while Dorit claims it wasn't. John recently did an interview with Too Fat and denied claims that LVP put him up to his role in Puppygate but Teddy disagrees completely. People are getting the Johns confused, Teddy chuckled. There were multiple phone calls where it was like, hold on, I'm on the other line with John Sessa and Lisa. Let me get back to you. Blah, blah, blah. Like, there was constant communication. It was a team effort. There is not one ounce of me that doesn't think Lisa, John Sessa, and John Blizzard all had open conversations and dialogue. I was there. I was a part of it. In fact, Teddy says the drama isn't about Lucy at all and claims it's all about a storyline. And truthfully, this isn't about the dog, Teddy said. If it was about a dog, when Dorit called Lisa Vanderpump and said, I gave this dog away to this woman that PK knows, Lisa would have said, okay, we're going to a home check right now on this woman, or, Dorit, get that dog back and bring it into Vanderpump Dogs right now.
but she didn't because this has always been about the story, not about the dog. Dot is for what's to come on RHOBH, Teddy says LVP filmed the show until she got caught. She also hinted that fans will see less and less of LVP as the season progresses. You've seen as much as I've seen, but I personally did not film with Lisa Vanderpump after a certain time, she said. However, Teddy couldn't spell much more about the drama that's to come because she's not allowed to give away what happens in future episodes. Teddy also revealed that she's not allowed to respond to every tweet she gets about the drama which eats away at her because she wants to reveal the truth on every detail. Not part of the requirement of doing this show is you have to wait and watch how things play out, she said. The thing that I can live with is this, yes, I made some mistakes. I owned those mistakes, and I apologized for them. That's how you can move on. That's how relationships can be mended. When asked if she will be vindicated by the end of season 9, Teddy says I know in my heart of hearts that this is something that Lisa put together. Only time will tell if that will play out on screen. As for the dreaded season 9 reunion, Teddy reveals that she's not at all nervous about filming it. I know the truth. I live in that. I've said I'm sorry for the things I've done wrong. And the beauty of telling the truth is you don't have to remember anything because you lived it. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills airs on Tuesdays at 9pm EST on Bravo.